Welcome back to our part four of our Lumion tutorial series. Uh, so if, if you're if you're someone new to this channel and if you have not been following, then I'd highly recommend that you follow the other parts and then join in for this part. Uh, it's of course for the beginners. And so so far, if you have been following the tutorial series, you should have your model ready like this. It could it could be in a different environment, doesn't matter. And so I have it in this empty empty environment. I've set up my lights and if you would like this model you can get it directly from our Facebook group uh, DWorks 3D Art Club it's a private group and you'll have to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get into that group in order to reap the benefits of me sharing model files with you and giving you tips directly alright so today I'm going to be talking about the uh, render part of this so as a beginner you, you can at the end of this video uh, start rendering out interior scenes alright let's get into it then by the way if you're new to this channel and if you like my content then please do like subscribe and share and to all my subscribers of course I love you all thank you So before getting into the uh, final rendering, I'd like you all to please check with your model files that you've got all your materials assigned on every portion of the model, except of course this area over here. And in order to light up the scene, I've used a plain light over here. Also make sure that you've got your uh, reflection control from the utilities tab of, of course I'm using Lumion 11 and if you do not have this uh, this weird ball in the middle of your in front of your camera then you might land up with some weird reflections you might actually land up with reflections from far away so make sure you have that placed and quite high actually just in the middle there yeah it basically is like an HDRI it reflects everything around around here actually close to the camera so that will help you maintaining the reflections Let me just show you that, which I did not mention in the other video. So I used a plain light there in order to get that window uh, sunlight effect there. And of course, free spotlights and other two lights over here. You can switch on the uh, light source for this one if required. You can adjust the fall off again if required. I'll, I've left it there. And that's it really. Your model should be ready by now. All right. In order to render this thing out, you'll have to go into the photo mode. So go in there, and this is your camera. In order to set up the camera, remember nothing works with the left click in Lumion. The left click inside this camera view is update screen. It basically gives you a rough overview, overview of what your render might look like, your final render might look like. So it's the right click that you can move around with. So adjust that. The option over here is the horizontal eye level. So it basically sets the angle to the camera planes at 90 degrees. This is setting the camera to a height of 1.6 meters. And this is moving down, this is moving up, and this is the focal length. You can adjust the focal length to whatever you like it to be and play around with it, really. And you can even uh, rotate the camera. You can go into add effect, go into camera, and yeah where's the handle select the handheld camera and with the angle you can go straight there adjust the focal length again and this is this is very ha handy for uh, short rooms or small rooms where your spaces are really short and you want to get a view out so this is the way you can do it in Lumion so that's that so once you're happy with your for example I'm happy about there so once you're happy with the angle and everything, uh, in order to set the camera, just left click on that store camera. It'll store that and if you left click on the screen, it'll give you a rough update. But I'm not quite happy with the update. You can see this, this side open over here and then I want to cover this side of it. How do you do that? So yeah, follow along this video properly, carefully in order to render the scene out, especially beginners. So first off, before I do anything, I'm going to go into custom style and select the realistic style 
So once we have the realistic st style selected, uh, because it's kind of yellowish, isn't it? So you go into color correction and set that to neutral. Set that to zero, zero, set that to zero. You can leave the brightness as it, as it is. Uh, turn up the contrast a little bit. Turn the saturation down a bit. Turn that lighting bit up a bit. And turn that up if required. This limit low basically creates a darker shade. So yeah, so that's limit low. And for those of you who are wondering where, why am I not explaining the settings in detail, I already have a video which is about two and a half hours long, which ex which has the entire uh, Lumion settings from from sun until advanced, all explained in detail, and it's in one of my Lumion. I believe it's in my Lumion video playlist actually. So I'll be attaching that to this playlist as well. In order for you to, you can actually click above and get into that video if you'd like. But for now, yeah, so just follow along this video for now and do as I'm doing. Go into reflection, add reflection planes. You can, you can add planes, I like, it's, it's basically self-explanatory in a way. So you can add reflection planes on standard glass or water. So any shiny objects you can add your reflection planes on, but remember it comes with a cost of render time. So remember that, keep that in mind and add your reflection planes accordingly or wherever required because it calculates the exact reflection wherever you place that I think most of the stuff can be done with uh, speed ray reflection as well it doesn't matter and keep that preview quality low because it might eat up a lot of graphics so that's that set up the hyperlight somewhere there so you can switch it on and check it out what it does so let's now play with the real skies go into the real skies go into the night scene and click on that Turn the brightness down because we do not want any uh, outside brightness as we've replicated the uh, window light with the help of a plane light. And so that's that. Once you've done that, go into skylight, bring that brightness down if required. And yeah, let, let that be somewhere there. Okay, once you're happy with your stuff, another thing you'll be doing is how can you cover these sides? There's something in Lumion called image overlay. Where is image overlay? That is image overlay. So it basically lays an image on top of your render. So once you, uh, let me let me just, so you can create this in Photoshop if required. And let me just pull that up for you. So yeah, so that's the image. I created that in Photoshop. I created two black sides and nothing in the middle. It needs to be a PNG and so that you can get that effect so once I open that up you see and if you turn the opacity down it shows you the entire model so you can get this done in Photoshop nothing just two rectangles in Photoshop and just leave the uh, the middle portion just delete the middle portion and leave it at the background state so once you've done that you'll see that your render is actually covered and now you can adjust your camera again if required hold down space in order to slow the slow the movement of your camera and yeah move it around slowly with the middle mouse button you can move it around like that with holding the middle mouse button actually so once you're happy with your uh, final stuff restore your camera again and check it out what it looks like so we need to correct the lights and the shadows uh, turn the brightness down pull that up a bit let the coloring let the default settings be then go into color correction again and yeah bring that gamma down you should start getting what you want and bring that brightness down if required yeah once you are happy with your uh, render you can go ahead and render it if required you can bring that down further and that's it really for this part once you're happy with you can add a bit of sharpen you don't need exposure to be honest let that be at the default settings and that's it for this and in order to finally render this out all you have to do is click on render and go to desktop and save it where you like for example yeah let's just save it there once you click enter it should it should start rendering and this is what it look like and it renders really quick by the way if you have a proper graphics card 
it will render very quickly yeah so that was a simple render but if you want to render professionally uh, there are a few tweaks that we do as a professional in Photoshop so I'm just going to show you those maps that you can use to achieve uh, that extra edge that you want so you go into render again you select the reflection map you select the lighting map for now I'm, I'm not going to use this map this you can use the sky alpha map for your exterior works and then material ID map for selecting a certain material and changing its values if required in the post processing another important map this is the normal map is but you can control the bump I believe with this map and there's a depth map again for the, for the depth of field and things like that and so I'm just gonna select the reflection map and the lighting map for now and go for a desktop size which is like your 1k basically this is your 4k and this is your 7k render that's supposed to render so I'm just gonna go with that and replace my previous render with that the moment you do that all the channels will be rendered out and I'll see you in Photoshop in a minute so once uh, once you have your render done uh, pull it up on Photoshop and pull up the other two maps as well on Photoshop mm. Let me just pull that out quickly. Mm, so that's the lighting map, that's the specular map. Open them up and put them on top of your diffuse map. Drag that there. Yeah, place it exactly on top of your uh, diffuse map. Create a copy of your diffuse map by dragging it and dropping it there. And now go to your specular layer and from normal change it to screen the moment you do that you'll see something weird happening actually I mean it just makes the render look better to be honest there you go you'll see these reflections they pop out so you do not have to worry about so these are the points a lot of people miss out on so of not using these making use of these maps or channels so and now you'll see that it's also affecting this area but I don't want it to affect this area what you can do is mask this that area there by clicking on add layer mask have the entire black color selected over here take your brush out and increase the size of your brush if required and just paint it on that and it'll mask that portion out to be honest So now you have the old reflection on that part in that area but you have reflection on these sides. So make use of these settings. These come in very handy in order to pop out those little bits which will help you eventually in your final renders. Make use of these. Now, you've, now that you have that, bring that lighting map down here, drag it on top of that, place it accurately exactly on that and then for the lighting map select soft light a lot of people select overlay but I feel overlay burns uh, the light out and therefore I prefer soft light you can see the difference already but again you don't want that much of soft light there so what you can do is decrease that value there by selecting the opacity by like bringing the opacity down of that layer and use it ever so slightly yeah once you're happy with your lighting you can now hold control select all of them right click on that and merge your layers now you can see the difference between your layer one and that there so once you are happy with everything I'm not doing it accurately still but I'm just trying to show you the difference so yeah just follow along so go to filter then open up camera raw filter you can adjust the exposure if required you can bring it down if you want increase the contrast bring that down bring your temperature down if required increase the clarity only if required and you can do many adjustments you can increase the sharpness increase luminance and bring down the color of your lights if required you can reduce the saturation of yellow and orange if required so once you're happy with everything click on ok and that's it you now and if you want to crop that black portion out of course you can you just select that and image crop control D and there you go you have an image now
then you can export it as a PNG and save it the save it where you like. That's it really. That's uh, yeah. I'd like to end the video there with that. So as a beginner, you should be able to render this out with ease with proper materials. You should be able to get this quality as a beginner. And if you still do have any doubts, do get back to me in my private group on Facebook. And of course, uh, you can find the model under the Files tab on Facebook there. So make use of that. Go through all the tutorials until part 4 and you should have that ready. So the next part I'm thinking of doing a exterior uh, so that both the topics are covered. And if you want, again, to know the settings in detail, I've done that already. I'll attach it at the end of this video most probably so learn up the settings as soon as possible and then get back on your feet and start following the tutorial series again all right thank you for joining in everyone and yeah share this video show some love and stay happy stay healthy and take care bye thank you all for watching this video if you did enjoy the video then please like subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with my future uploads